Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand what is asymptotic notation, the concepts of time complexity and the uh, diff examples on time complexities, finding the time complexities of an algorithm has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because the understanding of time complexities, finding the time complexity of, of an algorithm is very much important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now what is asymptotic notation and from now on from this video to the next 10 to 15 videos these concepts are very 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 important and our suggestion is to watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity and this content is also a bit of mathematical concepts from now on uh, uh, next 10 to 15 videos of content okay so now what is a what is an asymptotic notation an asymptotic notation enables us to make meaningful but inexact statements about the time complex time and space complexities of an algorithm given an algorithm and if you find the time complexity and space complexity of an algorithm we can notate those time and space complexities by using some notations so what happens with this kind uh, with that kind of notations is we we can we can give a meaningful statement about an algorithm we can give a meaningful statement about an algorithm so this way you may not be able to understand we'll try to understand that by using an example and before that there are different types of asymptotic notations means if you have a time complexity the time complexity can be notated either by using any of these notations so it may be big O notation omega notation and theta notation these are the three different types of notations that can be uh, that can be given to the time and space complexity of an algorithm so with that with the giving those notations to that algorithm what happens is we can we can uh, give uh, we can make a meaningful statement about that algorithm we can describe the behavior of an algorithm in short otherwise we can describe the uh, behavior of an algorithm how that algorithm behaves that can be identified by using these notations if the algorithm is given big O means certain kind of behavior if the algorithm is given omega means we can assess that certain this kind of behavior is there for this algorithm so what are those behaviors that we will try to understand in our later videos at this point of time let's try to understand the definition okay so uh, theta means certain kind of behaviors for example so what happens uh, here we have seen this example this is the algorithm for uh, uh, sum of all the elements of an array okay so uh, sum of all the elements of an array and we have seen that the time complexity of this is 2n plus 3 what what asymptotic what is the role of the asymptotic notation is for example if this time complexity is notated by using theta of n assume that this time complexity is notated as theta of n what it means is so what it this is what we call it as asymptotic notation by using by giving this theta to the time complexity so this 2n plus 3 has been reduced to n so that's why the definition states at inexact it is not exact but it is but with that notations we can find some behavior we can we can give some meaningful statements about that algorithm okay so anyway we we will clearly understand how this time complexity has been converted into this we will clearly clearly understand in our later videos let's assume that if this is the time complexity and this is the way in which we can notate it what it means is with this symbol we can understand that this is the kind of behavior that this algorithm is having so that feeling we are going to get we can get that some kind of uh, uh, meaningful state statements can be obtained can be derived from the asymptotic notations that are given to the time or space complexities of an algorithm 
okay that is what we call it as uh, asymptotic notations so this is the basic definitions as we move on we will solve different examples so uh, at this point of time you may be feel a bit confused but as we solve different examples you will get the complete clarity so watch these videos again i am saying that watch these videos as many times as possible until you get the clarity hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below thanks for watching